Hi, uh, I want to show today why you would use a bar tack machine versus a regular plain sewing machine. This is the pattern we want to show. Uh, uh, we want to actually stitch this. This is called a box and cross. Usually the double rows are spaced apart for reinforcement because if you try to draw a box and cross without lifting your pen off the paper, you would actually see that you'd have to do go over these lines twice. So we separate them. So anyway, on a plain sewing machine, which is what you have here, this is a Juki LU 1510-7. It's a single needle walking foot machine. If I wanted to sew that onto this piece of seatbelt webbing, I would actually have to figure out where I was going, maybe sketch it out on the webbing itself, and then sew. And now when I get to the end, look at what has to happen. I have to take this and turn this around. Now, I'm not a very good operator. A good operator could actually do this a little bit better. But look at what you're going through. And you're turning it around. Going all four sides. Now, you obviously wouldn't want to trim in between each one. You'd be able to turn it like this and create your diagonal. As you can see, if you've got to do a lot of these, you're going to be here a long time. So this requires a skilled operator, a lot of patience, especially to try to line up the corners so that they look nice. Seasoned operator does a much better job than I do, but when you see the how a bar tack machine would work, you can understand why anybody would want to do this manually. Hi, in the first video, you saw how difficult it was to create a box and cross on a plain sewing machine. You've got to keep constantly turning the webbing, lining up the, the pattern. In the next video, you're going to see an automatic bar tack machine doing a very similar box and cross pattern, and you'll see how fast that is. As you can see with the automatic bar tack machine, the machine does all the work for you. You don't have to turn the webbing to all four sides and do the diagonal. This would be the same when you're sewing a label, a patch, or any other kind of shape that you need to do. This technology has been around for a long time, since the early 1900s. The old mechanical cam machines were used to produce these same patterns. Nowadays, with the new electronic bar tack machines, the computers control everything, and they produce the pattern for you. This allows you to change from different style patterns, different size patterns, different stitch counts just by pressing a button. Different clamps will allow you to do different jobs going from a box and cross one day to a label the next without going out and purchasing new equipment. Thank you for listening to this short presentation. If you have any special applications that you would like us to look at and automate for you, please give us a call. Our number is on our website at www.camatron.com. Thank you.